Summer Sunrise, all decked out in her Independence Day regalia. Is, is uh, Bonnie Smith from uh, exclusive um, for, uh, Mountain Retreats? Exclusive Mountain Retreats. I just had a brain fart there. But because uh, I was, but my next question is Fourth uh, of July, and you're singing the national anthem. I am. It's year twelve. Wow. They keep asking me back. Yeah. So you'll be you'll be kicking off the races at the Firecracker 50. I will. I will be standing there in about an hour and 20 minutes. Now, I've heard you you sing. You know popular music and blues and whatnot. I've actually heard you sing the national anthem. Are you going to be kind of doing a modern rendition or is it you do are you pretty much stick to the classical uh, style? No, I have a new band and that's enough modern for me. Yeah. The, the boys have named it mm -hmm. affectionately Bonnie and the Codependents. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, right. But this I'm a traditionalist when it comes to the national anthem and mm -hmm. I think today we'll have a moment for the firefighters who are working yeah. so hard for us all over the state. Yeah, no, we've been talking about the firecracker 50 goes that's going to be preceding the parade. Bonnie's going to be uh, ushering them off their starting line with the national anthem but let's talk about real estate now earlier on the show I said I think this could be the absolute best time a perfect storm to buy and to invest in Summit County it is I think we've already seen the bottom I think the bottom came probably early last year mm -hmm. uh, or middle of last year and now we're seeing some multiple offers start and right. the, you know at this point the interest rates are still incredibly historically low mm -hmm. so it, it is the time yeah, you know, not only are they low, but they actually they're kind of loosening up the purse strings. About this time last year, I was got a letter from a bank. I was pre-rejected for a loan. And then just last week, my neighbor lent me a rake. So I think things are loosening up. Perfect. Yeah. Let's, now let's talk about the process. Someone, uh, you know, we have all sorts of inventory here in Summit County from around the county. In the process, what would you recommend? Someone go to the realtor first or go to a lender first to see if they qualify? How does it all work? Well, I think the lender is a very part of, an important part of the process, but I would frankly start with the realtor because depending on what you're thinking, for example, if you're going to buy a condo, mm -hmm. the condo restrictions for lending are very, very stringent, mm -hmm. and the realtor can actually recommend to you some lenders that uh, we've had better success with. Do they vary state to state, or is that a more a national uh, uh, criteria? It um, varies state to state pretty okay. dramatically, right. and as a second home, um, they're calling some things condo tells, et cetera. We've been right. working with our legislators, trying to get them to understand how vital this is to our economy. Mm -hmm. I spend a lot more time than I should in Washington, D.C., and right. the State House in Denver, and actually some other state houses talking about these issues. So um, I think the most important thing is to realize that you're going to probably need a local lender right. if you're going to buy a condo. I'm here with Bonnie Smith from Exclusive Mountain Retreats. And let's talk a little bit about right now, where do you think the best value is is it is it condos a kind of a lower lower end condo the kind of more luxurious condo or a single family home or just that buff lodging like a place like you know that I'd be interested in I think the bargains probably it sounds kind of silly but uh, depending on your price range but right. I think the bargains are in the five to seven hundred yeah. dollar houses homes really? five hundred to seven hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollar homes mm -hmm. there's a few more inventory on the market than we used to have right. um, the low-end ones go in a heartbeat because yeah. there's just not that many of them right. um, a, a few fixer uppers still if you kind of have sweat equity to put in right. um, but I think that middle price point is is where the deal is I mean you know the truth is you can still get a home in Bre a condo in Breckenridge of way under 500000 that you can walk to the lifts. And they, I don't think there's any major resort in America that can happen. No. And it's absolutely. not going to be this that the case for long here. No, and it wasn't um, three years ago. Right. So, And there are still you know, some pockets of opportunity, but they're disappearing fast. Okay, now we have your, uh, your number on the screen. Website, do you, have a, do you do a lot of web business? I do do a lot of web business. I'm in the process of rolling out a whole new one, which probably will be up in the next two weeks, fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, exclusivemountainretreats.com. Okay. All right. Now, uh, also, I, I have your phone number memorized because I always call you for fashion tips, but we won't get into that. Well, listen, happy 4th of July. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. And, I'm uh, to well, you. I, and good luck on, uh, on the, on the uh, national anthem. I'll be looking forward to hearing your melodic tones. Absolutely. All right. We'll be back with more. You want to protect your brain bucket? I can show you how. Not with a hat like this. You need a helmet. We'll be back.